start in a seated position with one leg in front of the other. Walk the hips back, press the sitting bones down to the mat. Keep the spine nice and tall, relax the shoulders down away from the ears and close the eyes. Soften the face. Begin to focus on your breath. Simply enjoy the inhale and the exhale. No need to control or change the breath. It's time to let go of whatever happened today. Set aside what you need to do after your practice. Dedicate this time for yourself. Be fully present in your body. Blink the eyes open. Begin with some shoulder rolls. Lift the shoulders up and back. Do this a few times. And then reverse the direction. Pause your movement. Get ready for side stretch. Place the right fingertips on the floor. Reach the left arm up. Lengthen and fold. Keep pressing the left hip down as you reach the left fingertips away. Make sure the chest is not caving in. Keep the front of the body open. Gaze in any direction that feels okay for your neck. Enjoy the lengthening in the left side of your body. And at any time, if you feel ready to go deeper, walk your right hand further away from you and sink a little bit lower into your stretch. Keep the breath going. Last few seconds here. and release, come back to the center. Prepare for the other side. Reach the right arm up, lengthen and fold. Feel the play of opposites. Press the right hip down as you reach the right fingertips away. Either look up at your arm or down at the floor. Feel the right side of your upper body expand on your inhales. And feel free to explore the stretch, going a little bit deeper as you feel ready. Last few seconds here. And release back to center. Change the leg that's in front. Prepare for a seated back bend. Place the hands behind you. Move your shoulder blades towards each other to lift the chest. Keep the neck relaxed. And if it's comfortable for you, take your gaze up. Feel a nice opening and stretching in the front of the body, the chest and the shoulders. In your own exploration, feel free to go deeper, walking the hands back, lifting the chest higher. Enjoy the breath. One last inhale, lift the heart and carefully release, drop the chin, come back to center. Seated forward fold, bring the hands in front of you. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to fold forward from the hips any amount. Pause when you meet resistance, notice the sensations that come up. If your body allows you to, continue exploring using your breath. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold a little bit deeper. Find that place that's right for you.
take one last full breath here and start to release come up walk the hands back notice how you feel now turn to face the short edge of your mat for Janu Shirshasana, seated separate leg stretching. Extend the left leg forward. Bring the right foot to your left inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, fold over your extended leg. Keep the left foot awake. Lightly press your heel forward and your toes back towards your face. Feel the lengthening in the back of that left thigh and left leg. And as with the other postures, continue your own exploration using your breath. Your hands can stay on the mat, on your leg, ankle, or foot, whatever you can comfortably reach without straining or forcing. last few seconds in your stretch and slowly mindfully release come up take a breath get ready for your seated twist cross the right foot over the left leg make sure both sitting bones are rooted to the mat if you find your back rounding move your right foot forward a little bit more right hand behind you for support Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, twist to your right. Option to bring the elbow on the outside of your thigh to twist a little bit more. Soften your gaze, relax your jaw. Continue to explore. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, twist. On your next breath, release. Unwind from your twist, uncross the legs. Pause for a moment. Prepare for the other side. Bring the left foot to your right inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Keep the right foot energized. Notice any differences between your right and left sides. And as you explore the pose, make sure there's no unnecessary tension in the face, the neck, the shoulders, no wasted energy in your pose. Keep the breath going. Take one last full breath and release. Come up for your twist. Cross the left foot over the right. Press both sitting bones down to the mat. Left hand behind you for support. Inhale, lengthen the upper body and exhale, twist to your left. 
keep hugging the left thigh in or you might bring the elbow on the outside of the thigh for a slightly deeper twist whatever feels more comfortable for your body Last few seconds in your twist. And release, look to the front, unwind from your twist. Uncross the legs. Prepare for a seated forward fold. Walk the hips back again, tilt the pelvis forward. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold over the legs. Keep the feet active, heels forward, toes point back towards your face. After a few seconds, let yourself relax into the pose. Let the head drop. Maybe the upper back rounds just a little bit. Hands can be anywhere, legs, ankles, or feet. And again, find the spot that's just right for you. Feel just enough sensation in the back body, but not too much. You're still able to breathe and enjoy yourself in the pose. On your next breath, start to release from your forward fold. Come up. Get ready for a seated bound angle. Face the long edge of your mat. Bring the soles of the feet together, gently pressing the knees down towards the mat. Walk the hips back. Lengthen the spine, and on an exhale, fold forward from the hips. As in all your other forward folds, use your exhales to fold a little bit more. Pausing when you meet resistance, breathing through the sensations. Stay where you are or walk the hands forward and fold a little bit lower. Notice the inner thighs, the hips. And after a few seconds, let yourself soften, relax into the pose. Keep the breath going. Last few seconds in your bound angle pose. And slowly release, come up, walk the hands back. Prepare for another side stretch. Extend the right leg out, left foot to the right inner thigh. Make a check mark with the legs. Reach the left arm up and fold to the right. Keep pressing the left hip down as you reach the left fingertips away. Keep the right foot awake and energized. You can take your gaze up to your arm or down to the floor. Feel that left side of your upper body expand with each inhale. And use your exhales to fold a little bit lower if possible. Last few seconds here. And release, come back to center. Lean over your left leg for a quick counter stretch. And come back up.
switch sides extend the left leg out right foot in inhale the right arm up lengthen and exhale fold to the side enjoy the lengthening in the right side of your upper body from your right hip all the way up to the right arm make sure the chest is not caving in gaze in any direction that feels okay for your neck keep the breath going Last full breath here. And release. Come back to center. For a quick counter stretch, lean over your right thigh for a few seconds. And then come back up. Prepare for a seated straddle pose. Extend both legs out. Keep the feet awake. Feel the inner thighs. For this first version, bring the hands behind you, fingertips to the floor. Lift the chest. If you're comfortable with it, take your gaze up. Notice the sensations in the lower body. Take a few more deep breaths here. And slowly release and bring the hands in front of you this time. Inhale to lengthen the upper body and exhale, fold forward from the hips. Being mindful of the inner thighs and the legs. Again, just finding a place that's appropriate for you. Every day you step on your mat will be a little bit different. So honor how your body feels. Find balance between effort and ease as you continue to explore the pose. Find a place where you feel just enough, but at the same time, you can still soften into the pose, enjoy the pose, and breathe. last effort here and slowly walk the hands back pause notice how you feel bring the legs together face the short edge of your mat and slowly roll all the way down to your back place your palms on top of your thighs and gently press the thighs away Notice any sensations in the lower back, the low belly. And release. Get ready for your pigeon on your back, hip and glute stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Keep that right foot awake. And slide your right arm through that space you've made to hug the left thigh in. Hands can be over your shin or behind your thigh. Feel the play of opposites in this stretch. As you bring the left thigh towards the chest, keep pressing your tailbone down, your hips down towards the mat. Feel the glutes, the outer hip, outer thigh, and breathe.
last few seconds in your stretch. Now release just your hands and wrap your right thigh more tightly over your left thigh for reclining Gomukhasana or cow face legs. Hands can be on your shins or on your feet or ankles. And gently pull the legs in towards your chest, keeping the hips close to the mat. If the pose is too intense, back off a little bit. Make sure there's no tension in the face, the neck, and the shoulders. Last full breath here. And release from your pose. Uncross the legs. Prepare for the other side. Left ankle over the right thigh, slide your left arm through, and hug your right thigh in. As you bring the right thigh closer to the chest, press your tailbone down towards the mat, as if moving your left knee away from you, and feel that stretch even more on the left side. Keep the breath going. One last deep breath. And release your grip. Wrap your left thigh more tightly over the right thigh. Grab the legs or the feet. Pull the legs in towards your chest, still keeping the hips on the mat. Notice if this side feels different from the other side. Simply observing without judgment. Be kind to your body. Last few seconds. And release. Uncross the legs. Extend the left leg on the floor. And hug the right knee in towards the chest. From here, move into a half happy baby. Lift the right foot up as if you're doing a lunge upside down. The sole of the right foot is facing the ceiling. Your hand can be on your thigh, your leg, or your foot. Keep the left foot that's on the floor energized. Release from the pose, bend the right leg more for reclining twist. Bring the right leg across the body, let the hips roll. Press the right shoulder down towards the mat. Enjoy the breath, enjoy the twist. On your next breath, release from your twist, come back to the center, and prepare for the other side. Right leg down on the floor, keep the right foot awake, and hug your left knee in towards the chest. Move into your half happy baby, lift the left foot up, keep that left leg bent, Take a few seconds here. Now release from your pose. Bend the left leg more for your twist. Bring the left leg across the body. Stack the hips and press your left shoulder down towards the mat, even if it doesn't reach the ground. Relax the face and breathe.
last few seconds and release from your twist come back to the center and from here bring both knees into the chest wrap your arms over the legs feel free to add any movements maybe sway side to side or do circles to massage your lower back whatever feels good to you here Pause your movement and move into a full happy baby with both legs up, soles of the feet facing up. Your hands can be on your thighs, your legs, or your feet. Keep pressing your tailbone down towards the mat. Stay in happy baby or explore some other movements and stretches that you need to do before our final relaxation. Do whatever you need to do to complete your practice. Whenever you're ready, release from the pose you're working on and prepare for Shavasana. Relax the legs on the floor, arms by your sides with the palms facing up, and close the eyes. Soften the entire face. Relax your tongue, let it fall away from the roof of the mouth. Let go of any tension or gripping that still remains in the body. We'll stay here a few more minutes, completely surrender to the pose, keep still, and rest. If you need more time in Shavasana, feel free to stay longer. When you're ready to reawaken, start with small movements in the feet, the hands. Take your time. Give yourself a nice long stretch. Slowly bend your knees. Roll to one side and pause a few moments when you get there. Anytime you feel ready, press away from the floor, come up to any seated pose, back to where we started. Observe how you feel after our practice. 
Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Take a last deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, let everything go. Take this peaceful energy with you as you go through the rest of your day. Namaste.